let's uh, first watch a video Many of you would know that it's a binary system of black holes orbiting each other as their intense gravitational pull brings them closer and closer together, eventually smashing them into a single black hole, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves in the process. Gravitational waves are like ripples in a space-time that occurs when massive cosmic bodies slam into each other. The detection of gravitational waves that was made last year by LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, is in itself a demonstration of an unprecedented technological advancement involving a sensitivity of a subatomic level in a distance of four kilometers. But the vision of existence of gravitational waves emerges from an even more extraordinary and visionary theory, the theory of general relativity given by Einstein in the year 1915. General relativity is an advanced form of special relativity also given by Einstein that tells us that space and time aren't two different things but coalesce to form a space-time continuum. General relativity blends gravity into this continuum to show that gravity is nothing but curvation of space-time. So if this beautiful theory is true, then matter bends light. So around the same time, Einstein pointed out that we can detect such a deflection in an event of a total solar eclipse. So the basic idea is that a massive body such as Sun will bend the light coming from a star situated behind it. And because of this bending, the position of the star will appear to be moved or a coordinate of stars will be deflected in the gravitational field of sun, blue being the original positions, purple being the deflected ones in sun's gravitational field. Or the positions of the stars in the absence of sun will be different than their apparent positions in sun's presence. This is uh, to give you a general idea. The deflections shown here are not fully accurate. Measuring such changes in the positions of the stars could be a straightforward thing, except for the intense glare of sun makes it impossible for us to pinpoint the positions of the stars in the nearby space. But in the occlusion of the glare, by a total solar eclipse, we have a full benefit of studying sun's gravitational field by measuring the shifts in the positions of the stars. So the total solar eclipse of May 29, 1919 became a distinguished eclipse because it gave us a new window on how space-time structures and continues. So a British astronomer, mathematician, and an avid proponent of general relativity, Arthur Eddington, set out on an expedition to the island of Principe to peer into this window and see general relativity materialize. Now, according to general relativity, a star at the edge of the sun should be deflected by one point seven four arc seconds 
and this is an extremely small value equivalent to 0 0.0005 degrees. It is like seeing a small flickering object at a distance of one kilometer move by one centimeter. But Eddington's equipment was just about sensitive enough to capture such a deflection. So the comparison of the positions of the stars when sun wasn't there with the positions of the stars in the total solar eclipse of May 29, 1919 showed that the deflections were precisely what general relativity predicts, thus for the first time directly authenticating the articulation of gravity written in general relativity. So image of that total solar eclipse is snapped by Eddington and his team became a legendary picture that so many of you would have seen over and over simply because it links to a window into which we for the first time glimpsed one of the most fundamental aspects of our universe. But the discovery of bending of space and time has been far more consequential than was realized at the time even by Einstein. And we have come a long way in our understanding of the way the universe is by interpreting general relativity. From the way the universe might have begun, to the existence of black holes, to the inferences of wormhole, dark matter and dark energy. The captivating black hole Gargantua in the movie Interstellar depicts general relativity. So does the gravitational lensing effect in reality that we see in so many cosmic images. The first glimpse of this phenomenon was made in the total solar eclipse of May 29, 1919, its most recent authentication. With ultra precision comes from the detection of gravitational waves by LIGO. By it, the inspiral and merger of two black holes 350 kilometers apart in a distant galaxy about a billion light years away was heard here on Earth validating general relativity to its core. I would invite you to visit my blog, The Magnified Universe, Cosmic Landscape in Quantum Decor, where I have written on the upcoming total solar eclipse of 2017 and also on the fundamentals of space and time. Thank you.